hello today i'm here with a new video and if you don't know who i am my name is lisa i am a cruelty free youtuber that is trying to have a year long no buy and today i am continuing my little mini spring series or what i'm going to call it i did a video and talked about seven palettes that i want to use more now when it's becoming spring i can leave it up here and i've used one of the palettes so far i used the soul blooming and i did a look that i did really really like and today it is time for the sweet talk palette from colourpop this is a 12 pan palette and this is like so so popular what i think at least and i guess i know why because it's just such a good palette and I am not the biggest fan of pink but I do really like it and I think I know what I want to do so I think we just get started and I feel it's going to be a lot of pink looks now these coming videos when I'm going to use these palettes but it is what it is but I yeah I want to do something pink but at the same time I don't want to do it that dark though, so I will start with Dream Maker, this one, and Meadow, Meadow, Meadow in my crease. And this has actually been one of these palettes that I've used quite, maybe I shouldn't say a lot, but that I have used outside of YouTube more than on YouTube. Um, I do really like this palette, even though it's not my typical color story but i can under or i do understand why it is kind of popular and also like me that don't like this kinds of colors do really like this palette last summer this was a palette that i took with me if i was traveling somewhere and uh, i think it might be the same this year i'm not traveling far though because um, I can't. <laughs> I. Okay, is this even fun to hear this? But I do not have a passport. Or I have a passport, but it's only valid until June. And in Sweden, when you're getting a new passport, you are going to fix that at the police. And. Um, the waiting time for like my region where I live is to January next year so uh, yeah it, it doesn't bother me though because I didn't plan to travel outside of Sweden this year maybe going to Denmark but I can go there with my driving license I don't need my passport but yeah so I can't like travel outside of Sweden but when I travel inside of Sweden I think this will be a palace that I will bring with me because I do think it's one of Colourpop's really good formulas and I think you can do nice looks with it and yeah also with like my passport I can I have my driving's license so I can identify myself because in Sweden for the identification when you like going to buy liquor you are going to uh, get packages and stuff you need something to identify yourself with and for that I can use my driving license which also I get I soon have to renew it it's going great for me okay <laughs> going in with a darker maybe this is dark enough I'm going to see no. okay i will take this i guess this is short for something i see you i see i see why am i If it's something that I have a hard time with, as a Swede, it's like, it's called slang, but like TMI, too much information, things like that. 
it's nothing that you learn in school in Sweden. And also, should I talk about this in this video? Yeah, maybe I could because I don't have anything else to talk about. In Sweden, uh, to use things like that, it's usually young people that does it. And if I'm going to be honest, I don't know all the Swedish things. Um, because I'm uh, too old for that. But it seems like in the English language, like in the UK and US, it's normal for older people or grown-ups to use it and it's not in Sweden. So like sometimes when I get comments like that, I have to Google what you mean. Just, you know, this maybe is not turning out to you what I thought it was going to turn out to you. But I'm not mad about it, but it's now that I said that I didn't want to do it that dark. But I don't know if I should take this feel free. And because I want to take Melody on my lid, maybe I will take this feel free and Melody on my lid. Oh, it's kind of dark. Maybe this is not turning out to a fun a little springy look. But what else? I mean, that's good. It's if not everything, it's a little fun and springy look. Okay. This brush isn't so good. This is from Beauty Bay, I think. And I don't know what to use it with. It's not super good with uh, matte shadows and not with shimmers either. It's like too fluffy. It's too hard to be a fluffy brush, but it's too fluffy to be a hard brush. Does that make sense? So it's like an in-between brush that I don't know what is it good for. Absolutely nothing. It's kind of good to like smudge it up in my crease, but not like ideal for it either. And then I'm going in with this melody, and this has a gold sheen to it. Gold shift. Maybe I should have taken gold jewelry then, but. Do I ever try to match things? No, not really. It feels like this look started out as something else and now it's ending up something completely different. I don't know if I should have taken something else in my crease. Maybe I should have taken Work It instead and maybe west side this one but maybe this is kind of a good combo I have nothing to complain about I do like it but it doesn't yeah I don't think it ended up with what I'm starting with it took a turn. For the better? Maybe. I do like this. I'm, I'm not going to try to pretend not to like this. I do like it. So I will take away the fallouts. I always get so much fallout on this eye. But not on this eye. I think I'm putting on the eyeshadow differently. But yeah, I will take away the fallouts, fix my base as normal, and then I come back with the finished look my finished spring look with Sweet Talk palette. <laughs> this is the finished look for my wash line. I did use Peach Fuzz from Colourpop and I have been thinking, do you want to know, like, do you want me to say what I've used for my face? 
I usually type it down in the description, but the latest I've been a little so-and-so. <laughs> but for contour, I've been using Ombra from Nabla. Blush, I did use Buskill or Bus from Melt. This one has a little bit of a gold tint to it. And highlighter, I took Ozone from Nabla. And on my lips, I have something from Kaleidos. Mine, for some reason, doesn't have the shade name underneath. So, I don't know. It was a little bit more pink than I wanted it to be, but I'm not... I do not know what I want. Maybe I would want something a little bit more nudish orange, but it is what it is. <laughs> so this is the finished look with the Sweet Talk palette. And I, it did came out darker than what I had in mind first, but I do really like it. I think it complements my eye color really good. I have blue eyes, which maybe you can see, and orange brings out the blue in my eyes really good so this shimmer that has a little bit of a gold gold orange thing going on really complement my eyes so yeah <laughs> that was all for this video i do really hope that you like my little spring thing i have five more palettes to use i don't know if i will do a look with each of the palettes or if i will mix them or something but I am trying to do something. So yeah, I do really love that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!